Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. I uh, got a good show for you today. We're going to get into the Tank Davis pay-per-view mismatch. Um, all three uh, fights have stunning odds um, in favor of the A-side. Uh, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Please follow uh, 3D Boxing on all forms of social media. Um, also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube, Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds from the channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. Um, it's very near and dear to heart. So let's get into the uh, let's get into this Tank Davis fight. So first of all, I, I want to be brutally honest. I don't think you know a lot of people hate this fight. I don't have a major problem with this as a pay per view. Um. Well, I'm sorry, I don't have a major problem with this as a main event. Tank Davis and, and Hector Garcia, I don't think it's a terrible fight. I don't think it's a horrible fight at all, really. I think it's a decent fight. You know, I think we know who wins. I, I, you know, obviously, Tank Davis wins. Uh, but I, I think low-key Hector Garcia is a really underrated fighter. Like, guys, he's got good wins. Like He's got three in a row. Yes, he's smaller. Tank comes up from 130 also, right? Um, but. Hector Garcia, we, we talk about him like he doesn't belong here. Like he's got wins in a row over Isaac Avalar in late 2021. Decent win. And then he's got the, the, the dominating performance over Chris Colbert, which I don't know that Chris Colbert's ever going to come back from. Um, and then he's got a win over Roger Gutierrez, a world champion. Dominating win, one side of wins over Colbert and Gutierrez. Those are good wins. That's a good resume right? for a guy who's only had uh, what's his record? He's at sixteen now. So for a guy who's only had sixteen fights to have three wins like that, you know, uh, a, a good contender like Isaac Avalar, and then wins over Chris World Champions like Chris Colbert, or you know, I, I guess Chris or technically, but um, and uh, Roger Gutierrez, and that's just wins, dominant, one sided beatdowns of both of them. You know, um, the Gutierrez fight was competitive for a minute, but Chris Colbert was never really competitive. You, you look at the scorecards in those two fights, and uh, he's barely lost a round. I, I know. And it is, um, Isaac Avalar was his first fight at 130. Um, he fought uh, Miguel uh, Moreno uh, Gonzalez at a catch weight, and everything at that before was 126 or below. Um. So, yeah, and we've seen Tank go as high as 140. So, Tank's going to be the biggest, stronger guy in there, and, and, and Tank should win, but it's not like Hector Gar uh, Garcia is just going to be a pushover who's going to get destroyed. I, I expect Garcia to have some success, to win some rounds. I think he can have success in a way, you know, because Tank is so short, and uh, Hector Garcia is not as tall as Barrios, but I think he's 5'10", right? Um, I, I think he can use his, his height. He doesn't really have reach, right? Like, his, his reach, he's kind of short-armed. He's kind of oddly built for a guy that's 5'10". Um, but I, I, I think you know, he can he can have some success in, you know, tanks, small, low center of gravity, push him backwards, walk him backwards, and, and keep Tank out of his rhythm. And keep Tank from just getting on the inside and doing what Tank does. Um. I certainly think that he, you know, Tank, I don't know that Tank knocks him out. You know, I'm picking Tank, but I, I don't think so. I, I don't think this is a terrible fight, okay? I, I, I think the odds that opened up 14 to 1 is a bit much. Um, I think like 4 to 1 is really very hard. Like, if, if, if you want to take a flyer just because the odds are so good, it's not a bad bet at fourteen to one, but I, I, I don't, 
uh, expect him to win. But, you know, okay. Then go to the undercard. Jared Enos is fighting for an interim world title. We all love Boots Enos. Uh, maybe the most, maybe the best welterweight in the world. We don't know. I mean, we got to see him against, you know, um, Spence, Crawford, and Verge. But maybe, right? Like, like maybe he 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 might could be the best welterweight in the world. Like he's that good, and it's not ridiculous to say that because he destroys everyone he fights. Um, and he's fighting a Karen. I don't know who this guy is. Karen, uh, you guys can pronounce that last name. Chaka Chan. And then we have Demetrius Andre um, against, we talked about this yesterday, Damon Nicholson, who is an opponent. Um, look, this is, this is not, these are not great fights. These are not fights. Jared Enos is opening up a 40 to 1, 40 to 1. It's like Douglas and Tyson, Tyson and Douglas. And Demetrius Andre is somehow only a 16 to 1 underdog, a uh, 16 to 1 favorite. So Enos is a 41 favorite, uh, and, and Boo Boo is 16 to 1. So Boo Boo is only a slightly bigger favorite than Javante Davis, who's in a real fight. I, I don't understand how, like, those odds are similar. Like, how, how is J- Javante Davis versus Hector Garcia, which is a reasonably good fight, and Demetrius Andre versus Damon Nicholson? How are those odds? How do they get similar odds for those fights? And then obviously, Boots is a, 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 a you know, Insanely large betting favor. Um, but um, it's interesting. Uh, but, you know, look, and, and everyone likes to see Boots. We want to see him against somebody better. No one likes to see Boots, but we definitely don't want to see him against someone no good. And then we got Rashidi Ellis, who's fighting Romain Villa on the card. Um but th- that's your card. Um, why not? Now, here's an idea. E- Ellis has always needed a, a dance partner. Why not match Enos with Ellis? Like that fight. And that could be the main event because it's actually the best bet on the card. Right? But, like, how is Hector, uh, you know, Javante Davis and Hector Garcia a main event of a pay per view? It's not, I, I understand that you think Tank Davis is a pay per view and all those fights now are going to be pay per view. This card is not $75 worthy. Now, on top of that, add on the fact that, you know, the, the economy is what it is. Most people are broke. You're, you're coming off the holiday season when everyone's, you know, kind of shot their load. This is going to bomb, guys. You got three mismatches, even though I don't really think one's a total mismatch. I, I You know, but I'll say this. I don't want to call it. Tank Davis versus Hector Garcia, a mismatch, right? But we know who's going to win that fight. I'll leave it at that. We, 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 so you got three fights where you know the winners, and, and, and two of them are going to be clear. Why would you not make Rashidi Ellis versus Jaron Enos? Why, why, why do this ridiculous thing in between? Um, you got Brandon Lee on the card. Why, why, why isn't Brandon Lee fighting someone good? He's fighting Diego Gonzalez Luque, who's 21, 10, and 2. Why all of these mismatches? Seriously. You could put, you know, I, I don't I, I don't know if I, I, I won't go that far yet. Brandon Lee. Um but who do you want to see Brandon Lee against? Brandon Lee can do 140 or 147, right? He's fighting at 142. He's a, a catchweight at 142. Why not put him in with a, with, with a welterweight or or you know someone of, of a little bit higher status? Right? Why not give him a real fight? Like you've got all these good fighters. I think the world of Rashidi Ellis. Why isn't he fighting somebody good? Rashidi Ellis didn't get any work from Golden Boy. They, they, he he got Alex Roca and he destroyed him. And he never got anything good again. Right. So why not give him Boots Enos? Like he. Rashidi Ellis gets no closer to a world title shot, which I, I don't think it's unreasonable to think that Rashidi Ellis is a, is a world championship caliber fighter. But beating Romain Villa gets you no closer to that, right? Like, even if it destroys him and washes him in a couple rounds, it doesn't put him on, on you know, it doesn't project him out to be a, a world title fight following that. And and this fight for Boots Enos, yes, he's going to look sensational, and he always looks sensational. But why not have him fight someone? At least give him a veteran. You know, 
this to me, nothing on this card really makes sense. And they're, they're charging you $75 for it right after Christmas, right after the new year, when no one has any money. It just seems like a bad idea all around, right? Like you got three mismatches. This is a great Showtime card. You give me this on Showtime, it's great. It, 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 it'll be a highest rated show of the year. On pay a bus, no one's going to watch it. You know, so you're trying to get Javante Davis and Ryan Garcia. You're trying to build that. You're trying to hype it up. And what do you do? You put you, you put hide Javante Davis behind a $75 price point. <laughs> you hide Tank Davis behind a $75 price point in a card no one cares about. No one's going to have the money for it, and no one's going to watch. So if, you're, if your goal was to make to Tank Davis a bigger draw for the Ryan Garcia fight, you've missed that. <coughs> I think Tank Davis is, is, is the best 135 pounder in the world, um, and, and I think you're hiding him. I, I think Tank beats uh, Haney. I, I think Tank beats uh, Shakur Stevenson at 35. You know, I, I, I think he's the best guy at 135. He beats Lomachenko. Whoever else you want to put that thing, Lomachenko shot. So I don't think that's saying a lot anymore. But like. If you want to make him a star in the weight class, why are you hiding him down here at 135? Why are you hiding him here at a $75 price point in a fight that no one really cares about, that most people view as a mismatch, which I, I don't think it's a mismatch completely. Um, like No one's going to see this, and it's not going to help his pay-per-view. So it's not going to help make him a bigger star for a potential Ryan Garcia fight. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Um, I think this is a... Mismatch, you think it's a, a pay per view fail that, that's not going to help Tank Davis in the long run? That's not going to help him sell more. It's going to, you know, you're hiding him before what's going to be you know, the biggest fight monetarily of his career. It just doesn't seem to make a lot of sense to me. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Quick hits comes at you every day. Um, usually eight to ten minutes a day. We just go a little long today. Um, Please like, share, and subscribe. 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Please follow us also on social media, on, uh, on YouTube, on the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. Please subscribe to Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Uh, it is January 6, 2023. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.